Over 140 Ukrainian drones overnight on Tuesday targeted multiple Russian regions, including the capital Moscow and the surrounding areas, Russian officials reported, in one of the biggest Ukrainian drone attacks on Russian soil in the two-and-a-half-year war. In the town of Ramenskoy just outside Moscow, drones hit two multi-story residential buildings and started fires, Moscow Region Governor Andrei Vorobyev said. A woman was killed and three more people sustained injuries. Five residential buildings near one of those damaged have been evacuated as emergency services were handling drone debris, Vorobyev said. The attack also prompted the authorities to temporarily shut down three airports just outside Moscow, Nukovo, Domodedovo, and Zukovsky. A total of 48 flights were diverted to other airports, according to Russia's civil aviation authority Rosaviatsia. Russia's investigative committee has launched a criminal probe on the charges of a terror attack. In Moscow, drone debris fell on a private house on the outskirts of the city, but no one was hurt, Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said. He counted over a dozen drones heading towards Moscow that were shot down by air defenses as they were approaching the city. Overall, Russia's defense ministry said it intercepted and destroyed 144 Ukrainian drones over nine Russian regions, including those on the border with Ukraine and those deeper inside Russia. It is the second massive Ukrainian drone attack on Russia this month. On September 1, the Russian military said it intercepted 158 Ukrainian drones over a dozen Russian regions in what Russian media described as the biggest Ukrainian drone barrage since the start of the war. Ну, если не знаю, там бы может что-то еще было, там, наверное, и погибло. Он закрывает своим телом, и дальше что? Страшно было? Очень, очень. Ну, сначала, конечно, были первые секунды, не секунды, а не до сих пор, этот вот шок, стресс, как мы бежали, успели схватить вот эту собаку. Как живут мамы? Еще вот Рады. дети наши Рады. тоже. Ой. Ну, в общем, вот, знаете, выше получается там, ужасов, не знаю, вообще, не наверное, ужасов. люди, ну, как женщина погибла вроде бы. Иран denied Monday that the sites attacked in Syria belonged to its allies. We don't confirm allegations by some Zionist-affiliated media about an Iranian-backed or Iranian-dependent center having been attacked Nasser Kanaani, spokesman for the Iranian Foreign Ministry, said. The number of people killed in overnight Israeli strikes in Syria has risen to 14, with more than 40 wounded, Syrian state media said Monday morning. Israeli strikes hit several areas in central Syria late Sunday, damaging a highway in Hama province and sparking fires, Syrian state news agency Sana said. The initial death count reported by the Masyaf National Hospital in western Hama province was four. One of the strikes targeted a scientific research center in Masaf, while others struck sites where Iranian militias and experts are stationed to develop weapons in Syria, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Local media also reported strikes around the coastal city of Tardis. There was no immediate comment from the Israeli military. Kanaani also rejected reports that Iran had sent missiles to Russia. The United States has informed allies that it believes Iran has transferred short-range ballistic missiles to Russia for its war in Ukraine, according to two people familiar with the matter. They did not offer any details about how many weapons have been delivered or when the transfers may have occurred, but they confirmed the U.S. intelligence finding. They spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss a matter that has not been publicly disclosed. چه کم در برخی از رسانه های وابسته به رژیم قاسب صهیونیستی عنوان شده مربوط به اینکه احیانا مرکزی رو وابسته به ایران یا تحت حمایت ایران مورد حمله قرار دادن ما تایید نمی کنیم طرح ادعاهای مبتنی بر در واقع نقش ایران برای صادرات تسلیحات برای یک طرف جنگ رو ما قویا رد می کنیم و این رو در واقع ناشی از 
من برخی از منویات سیاسی در واقع این طرف ها ارزیابی میکنیم British Prime Minister Keir Starmer met with his Irish counterpart, Saturday in what was billed as an attempt to reset relations between the two countries after years of tensions following the UK's departure from the European Union. Starmer's visit to meet Irish Premier Simon Harris is the first by a British leader to Ireland in five years. It is a further sign that the two wish to deepen relations on economic and security matters. Harris was the first international leader Starmer hosted following his Labour Party's landslide election victory on July 4. The two headed off after their afternoon meeting to watch the soccer match between Ireland and England in Dublin. friendly competition, and then we will renew and reset again. <laughs> 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 